The fats in our diet consists mainly of triglycerides, phospholipids, cholesterol and cholesterol esters. Our body breaks these down into their constituent parts and then absorbs them. Triglycerides are broken down into glycerol and three fatty acid molecules. Cholesterol esters are broken down into cholesterol and a molecule of fatty acids and cholesterol don't need to be broken down. The digestion of phospholipids is slightly complex. So inside our digestive systems, the fats have a tendency to stick around and form clumps just like oil droplets. But the enzymes that we have got are all water soluble and not fat soluble. So they cannot really penetrate deep into these structures and digest all of the fat. They can only act on the surface of it. So that's why we get only about 20 to 25 percent of fat digestion in stomach with the help of gastric lipase. However, when the food enters the small intestine, we have the bile salts to the rescue. These have a hydrophobic and a hydrophilic and, and thus form a cover around these fat clumps and help to keep them in the solution. They also decrease the surface tension and so the mixing movements and the peristalsis in the small intestine break these clumps down into smaller and smaller particles. Small enough so that enzymes can digest all of it from the surface itself. The end product of fat digestion are again covered with bile salts and lecithin and we call these structures now as missiles. The missiles contain the end product of fat digestion and the fat soluble vitamins A, D, E and K. As soon as the missiles reach the apical surface of the enterocytes, these products are readily absorbed by the enterocytes without the need of any kind of transporters as they are lipophilic and can easily cross the cell membrane. Inside the enterocytes, these are resynthesized into their parent products that are cholesterol, triglyceride, cholesterol esters and phospholipids. Then they are packed into small lipoprotein particles known as chylomicrons. The lipid part of chylomicron is just the envelope whereas the protein is for recognition by the receptors of the cells which will engulf them. Then these chylomicrons are absorbed into the lymph vessels in the intestine known as lacteals. The lymph then drains these chylomicrons into the main circulation in the large veins. <laughs>